Hello everyone. Welcome to JGK Master Class. Guys, in today's video, we will see some of the most important reactions of photochemistry and questions related to it like photo oxidation, photo reduction, rearrangement of cyclohexadienone and dipymethane rearrangement. So you can find here previous years of solved questions of MSc from BC University and we will discuss the questions related to these topics. Let's start. Our first question is describe the preparation of singlet molecular oxygen. Highlight the difference between triplet and singlet state. Write a note on cycloaddition involving the singlet molecular oxygen. So this is a question belongs to 5 to 6 marks category. So here uh, we have to describe this question is actually from the photo oxidation and some points which are important to mention here how we can prepare the singlet molecular oxygen. So basically singlet molecular oxygen can be prepared by thermal methods and here you need a sensitizer to prepare the singlet oxygen. So the sensitizer will go to in uh, triplet state and it will interact with the triplet oxygen. We will see in the reaction what do you mean by this statement and so your ground state triplet oxygen will be excited state uh, that is your singlet state oxygen. So basically the ground state oxygen is in triplet state while the excited state oxygen in the singlet state. This is entirely different like what we have done in other cases normally the molecule exists in, in a singlet state and in the excited state that goes to the triplet state. Okay, so why this is because oxygen uh, with the lone pair of electrons uh, is more stable than having a single radical. Therefore, the triplet state is more stable here and the radical, single free radical uh, having on oxygen that is singlet state becomes a less stable and so it is excited state. So basically you just learn these three steps. Now we will represent it in the equation. So how you are supposed to show? You have a sensitizer under photochemical condition this sensitizer which is in ground state will excite and goes to the triplet state and now it is in excited state and this uh, excited sensitizer will react with the ground state oxygen that is the triplet state and uh, will be excited to the singlet oxygen and the sensitizer will go back to the ground state. So you can just see the sensitizer is excited in triplet state while the oxygen is excited in the singlet state that is a difference and once the oxygen comes into the singlet state that is excited and more reactive state it can react with alkene, diene or polyene and uh, what type of uh, reaction you will see you can find here a cyclic conjugate addition 1,4 cycloaddition of oxygen with the diene or polyene forming a six member transition state. So let's say you can see you have a diene here and you have an oxygen molecule in the singlet state. Uh, you can easily notice that 4 plus 2 kind of uh, addition will be there, a, a very famous Green Selder reaction and you can show the formation and addition of this oxygen to the diene. Right? So this is a kind of 4 plus 2 addition only uh, where oxygen is adding to the diene. So you can uh, write all these points and the reaction to present your answer. I hope you understood it. Now next category of question is where they have given you this reaction and asking you to find out the product with mechanism. So you can notice here this is a benzophenone and isopropyl alcohol is given that is a solvent under photochemical condition. So if you just recall in your mind that uh, uh, the reaction in the presence of uh, isopropyl alcohol solvent it is a photo reduction reaction. So photo reduction means uh, hydrogen will be abstracted from the solvent to give two free radicals and basically the uh, product which you will get will be here benzpinacol and the oxidation product of alcohol that is acetone you will get here. Now we will see the mechanism. You have benzophenone under photochemical it will go into the singlet excited state and then from inter-system crossing it will go to the triplet excited state. Once it is in the triplet excited state it will react with the isopropyl alcohol solvent and will generate two free radicals here. You can see uh, here you have alcohol so this tertiary carbon is more stable and so the proton is going to be abstracted from this carbon leading uh, giving you a 
secondary alcohol here or free radical here and here you have more stable free radical the oxygen will take this proton and leading behind the more stable free radical for benzophenone also so benzophenone ketyl radical it is generating and acetone ketyl radical because of the stability you will get these two free radicals next you have again acetone ketyl radical which will react with the another molecule of benzophenone which is in the ground state so what happens now again this uh, proton which is present in the oxygen will be abstracted by the carbonyl oxygen and gives you again the more stable phenyl stabilized free radical and gives you the oxidized product of alcohol that is acetone as one of the products so you have now left in the system with the free radical species then the two free radical species will couple with each other and will give you the benzphenacol and so this is a photo reduction reaction the third category is what are the products of the following reaction outline the mechanism of their formation so this reaction is given in the photochemical condition you can notice this reaction is the you can see dienone system so basically rearrangement of cyclohexadienone you are having here and if you recall under photochemical condition it is first going to the singlet state after iac triplet state then the rearrangement will occur and it will give you the zwitter ion you can see here oxygen will bear a negative charge rearrangement and this carbon positive and so the double bond adjacent to it will give its electron and will form a bond like this so you have a positive charge which is near to the oxygen so this is a zwitter ion which is going to form here and the rearrangement you can see followed by the electron rearrangement from the oxygen you can see the cyclopropane ring is going to open here and it will give you the rearranged product ultimately so the final product is the rearrangement of the cyclohexadienone this question again may comes for 3 to 4 marks category you can describe this mechanism now the last question under which we are covering this reaction which belongs to 1 2 3 4 1 4diene system right 1 4diene very famous reaction the condition is uh, the, you have dipymethane rearrangement the reaction belongs to dipymethane rearrangement what is that 1 4diene on photochemical excitation it rearranged to give you the cyclopropane ring compound so first of all if you have 1 4diene you can think of dipymethane rearrangement second the two pi bond should be separated by sp3 carbon atom so you have a sp3 also here and it take place by bi radical mechanism or bi radical intermediate that we will see so as of now our structure meets all the conditions so we will see the mechanism of dipymethane rearrangement so you have this molecule where under photochemical we will uh, form free radical for the double bond and uh, the two, carbon 2 and carbon 4 is going to form a bond leaving behind the carbon having two ph as a free radical and the other is primary free radical and if you compare so this is the bi radical intermediate stage uh, which uh, our third point says and now out of the two free radical the free radical which is primary is less stable and so it will try to rearrange and form a double bond after opening of the cyclopropane ring so the opening of this ring will generate a free radical here which will form a double bond leaving behind a tertiary free radical that is more stable so the two free radicals are stable and so it is going to form later a bond and the cyclopropane ring compound you can notice here we have written that one for the in rearranges to cyclopropane ring compound and this is our product and uh, you can notice you have uh, the two pi bond are separated by sp3 also and you have pi radicals intermediate here so this is called the dipymethane rearrangement reaction and i hope now uh, similar kind of questions uh, related to the same topics uh, you will be able to solve it and if you have any other doubt uh, in photochemistry Uh, or in other uh, pericyclic reaction or any other topic of uh, organic chemistry or analytical you can write it in the comment section i will share the other link of my photochemistry video in the description box and uh, if you like my videos and if you feel that uh, these videos are going to help you to solve your questions then please do subscribe it like it and share it with your friends till then happy learning bye